Hey everyone, welcome to Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Well guys, in this video, I'm gonna discuss some very, very uh, honestly sad news to me. Uh, it's breaking news. It just, it was just announced by Christopher Landon and The Hollywood Reporter that he has dropped out of directing Scream 7. He has left the project. So I'm going to share what we know right now and how this will potentially impact the film and actually the direction of the whole franchise moving forward. Uh, there's much to be said, and I am still literally processing this news. I just found out five minutes ago, and I'm jumping on now to make this for you guys. It was just announced. So let's, let's work through this together and see where we land on the other side. And for one last time, I'm going to play this opening that Christopher Landon recorded for me when I interviewed him back in September. And uh, after this, I'm going to have to retire this clip. So one last time, guys, here comes Christopher Landon. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is Christopher Landon, the director of Scream 7, and you're watching Craven Something Scary. So Christopher Landon and The Hollywood Reporter um, broke the news. Uh, and the headline reads from The Hollywood Reporter, Scream 7 loses director Christopher Landon, a dream job that turned into a nightmare. His departure follows the firing of Melissa Barrera, as well as the voluntary exit of Jenna Ortega. Now, the article goes on to uh, say, and this is a, a quote here from Christopher Landon's Twitter, our ex, says, quote, I guess now is as good a time as any to announce I formally exited Scream seven weeks ago. This will disappoint some and delight others. It was a dream job that turned into a nightmare, and my heart did break for everyone involved. Everyone. But it's time to move on. Landon wrote on X Saturday, which is today. I have nothing more to add to the conversation other than I hope Wes's legacy thrives and lifts above the din of a divided world. What he and Kevin created is something amazing. And I was honored to have even been, I'm sorry, I'm honored to have even the briefest moment basking in their glow. Now, the article goes on to say, uh, now the future of Scream 7 rests on James Vanderbilt, the writer-producer who co-wrote the rebooted movies and who is writing the current script. Sources say that the scribe who was already contending with Ortega's loss had been focusing the story on Barrera's character. When she was let go, he at least had a creative partner in Landon to shoulder the story. Now the franchise is back at the zero marker and will need to be rebuilt whole cloth. All right, guys. So listen, I, I, there's a lot to be said here. Uh, I ha have a whirlwind of feelings going on right now as I'm recording this video. Um, and I wanted to give you guys my initial raw thoughts, but I will tell you this, there's going to be more to come. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, I'll be doing a live stream later on, probably around six or seven o'clock central time tonight. But the point of it is, um, there's a lot going on here and there's going to be more as I process this and really let kind of think it through more. I'll have more videos to come, but I just got to tell you initially, I am extremely upset about this. I'm and not mad at not mad at Christopher. Like like, how dare you leave? Not that. I am upset at the situation that has occurred. 
going back to the first domino that fell, right? And it really started with the, with the firing of Melissa Barrera. That, that's, that's what started this, this whole snowball. And then Jenna, of course, and then here, and here we now, Christopher, here we are. Uh, you know, guys, I interviewed Christopher Landon. He came on my channel here. The video is up. You can watch the, you can watch the interview. He was so excited for Scream 7. You could see it. You could hear it in his voice. Um, he was excited for this project. He even said here, it's a dream job. It was a dream job. And he was so looking forward to doing Scream 7. And we, we it was just apparent that, that and, I, and I told you guys, he was the guy I wanted. And I, I just was so thrilled when they announced that Christopher had taken the position to direct Scream 7. I was like, this is the right guy. He's the one we need. He's going to do this right. He's going to have a hand in the writing. He's going to be able to shape the story. And his history, his background, his experience is going to be amazing to what he's going to bring to the table. And I have been so excited. And on Cloud9, even though all this stuff that's happening here, you know, it's happened with Melissa and Jenna, I always have said there's still this ring of hope because Landon's there. Like, you know, as long as Christopher's there, I, I still felt we're going to be okay. Like, he's going to help that script. He's going to be there to direct the story. He's going to help make this thing right, uh, as right as possible, okay, given the circumstances. And all of a sudden, it's like that feeling when you you lock down a position in your firm and someone grabs the rug and they just yank it out from underneath your feet and it's gone and it's gone it's gone guys christopher's gone so here we are now we have no captain no director again don't know who it's gonna who's gonna step into the role now who knows uh this is gonna definitely result in delays I mean, Scream 7 right now, guys, if, 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 if we even get a release in 2025, that's going to be honestly pretty shocking. I mean, I, I, mean I, I think that there is so much that the studio has to fix. I mean, imagine being the next guy. Who's going to step into this? Right? Who's going to step in and direct this? Now, there, there'll be somebody. But, I mean, I'm just saying that rhetorically. Who, who is... Who wants to step into this? This is a this is a bonfire of a situation. It is it's a huge fire burning, and there's a lot of baggage going on with this with this now with Spyglass. And I have to say once again, no thanks to you, Gary Barber, head executive at Spyglass, because. All of this hinges on these horrible decisions that have been made by the studio. Gary Barber, yes, I'm calling him out. Gary Barber, the head executive of Spyglass, is the one primarily responsible for all of this mess that we are now seeing with, uh, with Scream, the franchise as a whole, and specifically Scream 7. So... Look, I'm I, I, I'm not going to ramble on right now. I'm gonna. I just want to say that this is not good. This is a dark day right now. I feel, I I feel just. I'm almost speechless, even though I have so much I want to say. If that makes sense. So, so guys, listen. That's the breaking news. I wanted to get it to you as quickly as I could, so that you will know what's going on where we're at. I will be doing a live stream later. Stay tuned. I currently have one scheduled for 9 p.m. tonight, but I will probably move that sooner. So just, you know, it's up on my channel now. Just be sure you hit the notify me button. As I change the time, you'll get notified. Don't worry. Just go there now. And we'll talk about it live later. There's so much more to say. It'll give me time to process it, to evaluate, to reevaluate things a little bit more. I'll bring you my thoughts. I want to hear all your thoughts. Start leaving comments right now. Please leave your comments. We've got to talk through this together. So 
down below right now. Start let start letting me know. Tell me what you're feeling. Tell me what you're thinking about all this. What's up with Scream Seven? Is he? You know, how long is this going to be delayed? What's going on? James Vanderbilt now is writing a brand new script. What's going to happen? I mean, guys, there's so many directions this thing could go. Leave your comments. I want to discuss it with you. Come back tonight for the live stream. We can talk in real time. All right, that's it for this update. I'll be back soon with more Scream and any other breaking news, other horror movie content. You know, I'll bring it to you. So just uh, do me a favor, though. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? I really appreciate it. It helps the video, helps the channel. And once more, this is Craven Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the live stream later. Peace.